This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org. I'm standing here with who am I standing here with? What's the, um, uh, my name is Rula Tokatli. I'm going to say it in the Arabic way. Uh, Tokatli, that's my last name. I'm from Latakia, Syria, uh, which is located on the uh, Mediterranean Sea. Uh, born and raised in, in Syria until I was 26 years old, and I came to the States um, a couple years ago when everything started to um, actually collapse. You know, when I was back in, um, in 2003, I covered an, a pro-war rally, uh -huh. a, a pro-Iraq war rally, and it was packed with Iraqis and Kurds, uh -huh. um, and it was a big, very, very enthusiastic pro-war rally. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, it seems like the shoe is on the other foot, and people, you don't see a lot of pro-Syria rally, pro-Syria war rallies in the United States. What do you think maybe has changed? Um, what's a rally? What? Uh, a protest. Oh. Against why, the why Syrian war? People seem to be against the Syrian war in the United States, but they were for the Iraq war. What do you think might have changed? Uh, well, actually, uh, a lot of people, uh, they opened their eyes of what is actually happening because it's not about Iraq anymore. It's the same thing that happened in, in Egypt, the same thing in Tunisia, the same thing in um, Algeria and Yemen. So it's the whole Middle East has been collapsed and there's no... Any kind of changing or uh, a progress has been happening to any of those countries. So why Syria now? Um, what else can I say? What do you? I mean, is your, is your family halfway safe? Or um, n at this point, no one is safe. Um, actually, matter of fact, my uh, my mother and my brother they um, they uh, went back to Syria a couple of days ago, and they were like, uh, "We'd rather be in Syria. Whatever happened to it, we'd rather be in there than just standing in here and doing nothing." And uh, and um, just hear those bunch of amazing lies on TV uh, over and over. Are you finding uh, that, what do you, would you say is the percentage of Syrians that support uh, intervention of the United States? Um, I would say, um, I'm not really sure about the percentage, uh, maybe about like 20%. Uh, I mean, uh, most of my uh, my friends, they are still in Syria. I'm talking to them every day. I'm talking to all my relatives. Um, uh, no one wants another Iraq. No one wants another Pakistan or Afghanistan. Um, no one wants another war. They just want to live in peace and be left alone. The, the liberty, libertarian-leaning media uh, in the United States is always accusing the Syrian rebels of having al-Qaeda ties. How true do you think that is? It's, um, it's absolutely true, because um, um, if you want to call it the rebels, uh, most of them actually, 80%, 90% of them, they are not Syrian. They are either from Tunisia, either from Turkey, uh, from uh, uh, Pakistan. Uh, they are all over the, the, the world except for Syrian. I mean, I'm not going to say that uh, uh, w there isn't any rebels. Uh, we're not like uh, saying we don't want any changes. We definitely want change. Uh, but the amount of changes that have been happened since uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, uh, leading uh, our, my country, it, a lot of changing happened, uh, a lot of schooling systems, uh, um, uh, companies, private companies. Uh, um, I, I mean, I'm an engineer. Uh, my whole education was free. My whole Medicare, uh, um, I mean, um, what do you call it? Like um, Under Assad II? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, the amount of changes in the last 10 years has been amazing. I mean, and I've, I've been living here for, ten, for two years now, and uh, um, I love American people. It's nothing against the American people. It's just, please, please stay away from Syria. It is said, or certainly could be said, hell hath no fury like a well-intentioned government. Well, I don't know how good the intentions are over here, but I can tell you that the folks at the State House in Concord, New Hampshire, are not interested in protecting your freedom for the most part. They're taking it away, piece by piece. Fortunately, unlike in most states, they're not doing it without a fight. That is in large part due to the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Now, if you were to go into the State House there behind me and do this, you would hit 
one of the members of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, because they're in there all over the place fighting for your freedom. They also offer free training if you want to learn the ways of the citizen freedom lobby. Visit them at nhliberty.org.